Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and I welcome all of you to yet another very interesting informational video on what exactly is creatinine. With this, we will also be looking at how to properly diagnose it, its main causes and finally the proper treatment that an individual should take to prevent and control the levels of creatinine. Starting with the first question that you may have in your mind. What do you mean by the word creatinine? Creatinine is a waste product that is produced by the body whenever there is a, any wear or tear caused to the muscle. It is present in every person's body and does not cause any harm until and unless the levels start to rise. Now you must be thinking that how can something which is naturally produced and controlled by the body be harmful? Let me make it simple. With our bodies producing creatinine every day, it becomes very important for our kidneys to pass it through urine so that the level does not end up rising. This means that if your body stops responding to the natural process of removing creatinine, it is time to look after your kidney functioning and monitor it very closely. So let's try to understand as to why our bodies act this way. There are a number of reasons behind the increasing level of creatinine in an individual. The role of our kidney is to flush out the waste material and when this function get hampered, it leads to the increased level of creatinine. Therefore, less creatinine would be removed by the kidney and it will start to accumulate within the body. So, how do creatinine level increase in our body? From severe kidney infection to high blood pressure and even diabetes can cause the creatinine level in the body to rise. Therefore, it is very important and also my advice not to ignore any sign. It can cause a lot of damage in the long run. Moving on to the next part of the video, now I would like to talk about the link between GFR and increasing creatinine levels in an individual. Previously, we spoke about the relationship between the increasing creatinine level and decrease in the kidney function. Increase in the creatinine level also means that your GFR will gradually start to decrease. Now you might be thinking, what is GFR? So let me explain you that. This is the test done to determine the capacity of your kidney to filter out the waste material from the body. With this, any doctor will be able to determine exactly which stage of CKD the patient is suffering from. The value of GFR tests are highly important in determining the small detail about creatinine levels and kidney functions. Something which is very important to remember is that your GFR score is directly related to the level of creatinine present in the blood. The more the level of creatinine, the lesser the GFR score would be. This would ultimately means that the kidney are not in a healthy functioning state. There are usually five stages that are associated with the kidney disease. With the first stage usually having GFR value of 90 or above and less than 15 in the fifth stage. But there is no need to worry because there are various ways in which we can control the creatinine level as well as the increased GFR score. The two main ways in which we can do this is first, pay extra attention to your protein intake in the diet, which is to control its production in the body. Second is to make sure that the creatinine being produced in the body is flushed out through urine. All this is interrelated, let me explain. When the creatinine level in our body are high, it becomes hard for our kidney to filter out the impure blood. With having a controlled and monitored diet, it becomes very easy to get the level down. As I told you earlier, creatinine is a protein-based waste material produced by the muscles. Now imagine if a patient of CKD takes large amount of protein like red meat, chicken, fish, what will happen? The large amount of protein will convert into large amount of creatinine and it, this will increase the level of creatinine in a CKD patient. Now, if the patient of CKD wants to control the level of creatinine, they have to cut down the amount of protein intake. 
the patient has to avoid all kind of protein like chicken, mutton, fish because this will help the body to produce lesser amount of creatinine and when the body produces lesser amount of creatinine there will be lesser amount of creatinine to show in the reports. On the other hand we also need to make sure that the process of creatinine clearance should be enhanced to lower the levels. The only way to do this is to improve the functioning of the kidney which would eventually result in lower level of creatinine in the blood and higher GFR score. Now to improve the functioning of the kidney, it is very important to know why the kidney were damaged in the first place. There are several factors that can be held responsible like high sugar levels or blood pressure. Therefore, by controlling the main culprit, we can for sure improve the functioning of the kidney and also control the creatinine level in the body. Once the culprit of the CKD comes in the control, that means if the blood pressure or sugar comes in the normal levels, what will happen in the body? That there will be no further damage to the kidney. And once the damage of the kidney stops, the kidney will try itself to improve its functions. And when the function of the kidney improves, what will happen? That there is more clearance of creatinine through urine and the level of creatinine start decreasing. Now I want to show you one of my patients. Hi, my name is Betcheva Sarah Gamaran, and I'm a kidney patient. And I found out I had stage 3B kidney disease, getting very close to having to have dialysis. And it absolutely shocked me. So I did all kinds of um, learning and studying and trying to figure out how outside of modern medicine I could get help. And I understood uh, there was a place called Saras Institute in India that could help me. I also have um, and had for many years um, um, diabetes. But anyway, um, the Dr. Kumar and Dr. Uh, the doctors there, they all worked together and they were wonderful in helping me. And um, I was shocked after just three months of medication that I went from stage 3B kidney disease to stage 1, basically. Um, but the doctors here say that I will always probably be a kidney. I had a lot of kidney stones years ago. And I was very much overweight. I've lost a lot of weight since then. And um, the doctors at Saras Institute advised me to go vegan. And they gave me a diet plan. And I hired a dietitian to help me along with the medication that they sent me. And with the medication that they sent me and with the diet that they advised me to be on, I've actually been able to get my diabetes down to where it's, um, the A1C is 5.1, which is not even diabetic any longer, number one. Number two, um, I'm out of stage 3B kidney disease. I am now almost cured. I have another three months of medication to go. Uh, my last EGFR was in the 60s. Um, the one previous to that was a little bit higher, but um, I have been trying to figure out the diet is the, diff is, the, is the hard part, really, making sure you stay on the diet. But I advise uh, that anybody that has kidney disease that they contact this doctor. And um, I give permission to use this video so that they could help other people with this disease. I have sent several people to the Saras Institute in India. As I think they're amazing and they know what they're doing. And I'm so grateful because basically they saved my life because now I have a, a longer lengthy period of time for living. As long as I keep up the good work and keep up following the diet that they recommend. And the medication that they gave me has really helped me. And they've been a wonderful support. Not only Dr. Kumar and I forget, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I have a senior moment right now. But the doctors there are very helpful. And they use WhatsApp and they will speak to you anytime, day or night. And you can contact them and question them and they will help you with any questions that you have. So, like, I am very grateful to them. And I just want to share this amazing story of a true person, a real person who has um, gone through this 
and I wish you all the best and good luck in your endeavors and in your disease and that they will help you also. Be well. Namaste. As you can see, the level of GFR has been improved and the level of creatinine is now much more lower. Now, how this happened inside the body is that we have worked on all these things. First, the diet. Second is we work on the kidney function. As we have now reached the end of this video, I hope that this information will be useful for people either suffering from chronic kidney disease or people who have early signs and symptoms of developing CKD in future. My advice to each and everyone watching this video would be to regularly keep a check on your creatinine level and make sure that proper diet is maintained at all the times. Take care and see you in the next video.